Oh, what is going on, man? Oh. It is Pixabody here, and welcome back to Paranormal Sight. Where we left off, <laughs> this son of a bitch. Yeah. We found him, and all kinds of hell broke loose, it was, including another it ending. Was, uh, it was. I'm, 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 I'm kind of glad my curiosity made me <laughs> not do the turning around <laughs> idea first, because this seems to be how we go uh -huh. a more pervy way. Hey, Yame. <laughs> what the? She's just... Well, back up, back up, back what, up. What, what are you... That, oh, I thought that was... I don't know why I just thought, like, for a second that that was, like, a random, uh... I thought that was, like, a random person that was talking on that one. It's been a while since... You, Listen, it's been a while since we played this game. And I thought that was just a random pedestrian spilling in for some reason. But nope, let me redo that That's one. That's the italicized, you know, thought text that we've been reading for how long now? Listen, oh it's been like a week since... Whoa, were... back up, back up, back up. The hell is she doing here? Crap, our eyes just met. You ruined this is the bad. moment. Real bad. Why would you have big now of all times? Uh, get out of here, damn it. Book it before he sees you. Huh. But I need to ask her about Namagaki. Shit. <laughs> Boss, where are you? Where are you doing? Where are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the. Uh... What are you doing looking all over the place? Focus! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> damn it! Uh. Fuck, he's fast. Now I get away! Uh. Well, well, well. I am my Tono. I've been looking for you for a very long time. Huh? What? D Dad? I am my. No. Nope. I am my. Don't you dare, you bastard. Get away from her. Uh oh. Get over here. Ah! Get off. You're hurting me. <laughs> Stay right where you are. She dies. Oh boy. Hey, get back here. Make me. See you around, dumb fox. Well, that's dangerous. Whoa! God. That piece of shit took Ayame hostage and ran off with her. After him. We can't let him get away. Oh boy. That's not good. No. Ooh, it's 4 p.m. No, not at all. Mm. From HQ to all heroes. Suspect is evaded capture on coming out of bridge and remains at large. He is currently on the run with one female hostage. You gotta say, boss. You really screwed that one up. Yeah. Yeah, we did. It's my fault. All we can do now is hope he doesn't slip the net. We know his identity now, boss. You can't run forever. Come on, keep your chin up. I'm sure the hostage will be all right. I hope so. Can't believe that was your daughter. How crazy is that? Yeah. I fucking know. <laughs> We've been trying to get a hold of her since this morning and she just shows up there? Who would have thought? What a twist of fate. Yeah, I'm a bit too twisted for a twist for my liking. I think you need a breather, boss. You're not making sense. Does this mean she was the one in the car with Namagaki? No, we don't know that yet. Denial. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what she has to say before we jump to any conclusions. You sound tired, boss. That standoff must have been really done a number on you. Mentally, yes. <laughs> Come on, let's treat ourselves to some Mitsumame. That'll put a spring in your step. I don't. I can't tell if boss is really <laughs> excited or what. Or <laughs> yeah, this sounds good. So I'm sure it might be just what I need to get my brain working. Whoa, hold on, boss. Sounds like the patrol's just gotten a message. I'll go check it out. What about sure sushi? Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please be good news. Please be good news. You look so happy to be saying that. Good news, boss. They found Nejima. No shit. What about the hostage? I don't know. They just said they come quick. Turns out she has Nejima as a hostage now. <laughs> oh the God. roles have reversed. That would be interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Um, Is he dead or just beat to hell? Something tells me he wouldn't give up until he was dead. <laughs> Damn it. Guess I'll find out when we get there. Christ. At 4.28 p.m., Fumichika Nejima, also known as Makoto Ashiyama. Ashimiya. Ashimiya, fuck. <laughs> was discovered in the former Yasuda Gardens, beaten to death. Wow. The body suffered 110 distinct instances of blunt force <laughs> trauma. 
case is being treated as a homicide. 110. Deceased possessions have not been recovered and appear to have been taken post mortem. What the fuck? The location of the deceased female hostage remains unclear, but is intending to pursue her as a person of interest. 110. That seems very. That's. That's. That's almost. Hmm. Well, we got a whole new slew of things going on now. 110 punches? <clears throat> I... Hmm. It wouldn't be the Whispering Canal because you drowned from that. The Fullest Procession. Fatal Fall. So I don't think that would create 110 distinct no. blunt force traumas. Beckoning Light wouldn't do anything like that. Kills by... Okay, so the only way that, and that wouldn't work because who has the back, because we also have, oh man, where's that chart that we have somewhere? Because isn't there a chart that we have here of who has what? It just says on their profiles. I'm pretty no, sure. No, we have a whole, there was a whole thing that we had at one point. Was that there? That literally set a chart of who started with it and who moved to what. I don't remember that. Is it the bottom of this maybe? Whoa. No, that's just the Hanjo incident. No, yeah, disembowelment. That's a pleasant <laughs> one. Um, oh, we don't know what the one-sided. Well, actually, we know he what that has one the technically does, read. and that's the one that's gonna cut everyone in half. Mm -hmm. Four hundred fucking people. Full washing mansion, crushing one who hears wash. We don't know what the Taiko of Suguru does. But also keep in mind, it's daytime. It's yes. not a curse. No, Someone beat him to death. Something seems very off about it, though. <sighs> I don't know. So, do we uh, go to the, do we do we go the Yako way, or do we see what these two are up to <sighs> as a last resort? Apparently, which is terrifying to me to see her under last resort. My favorites. Are they your favorites? Yes. Okay. All right. So, preparing for battle together with Yoshimi. Yoshimi's fiance, Mayu, and Yako and Mio report all they've learned so far to suits, 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 and the others. <laughs> Putting all their stories together, they can see their final objective at long last. Oh boy. 5 p.m. It's getting close to sundown. Mm -hmm. Come, Come get a high, high school. school. <laughs> Pretty lady. <laughs> Mr. Tsutsumi, this is Mayu Chozawa. Ah, so you're the one. This mean the police was looking for you. Glad to see you're all right. Sorry, I should have told someone I was okay. I was just so pissed off. Falling right into Hihaku's hands, I got myself into some deep shit. <laughs> Hihaku seems like they're still up to something. I'll we'll have to make sure they clean up their act once and for all. Oh yeah, that one guy. Get it? Because they sell soap. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> this is serious. Nice one, <laughs> boss. You're really on top of your game today. <laughs> Stop trying to make me feel better. <laughs> I should have said anything. More importantly, Mayu, thank you for your cooperation with Yoshimi. We'll get to the bottom of it, I promise. Oh, you must be Detective Ario. I heard a lot about you from Hajime. I'll be counting on you. Catch whoever did this, no matter what. Well, all right, time to go around in a circle. No one's surroundings. This is Yako now, so. Uh, they've all but finished investigating the crime scene, and the police have mostly left. But are letting us use the school as our base of communications as per instructor Tsutsumi's request. Tsutsutsu. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Mia, how you doing? I'm not sure why, but I feel fired up. It feels like we're close to the moment of truth. I think Mio feels the same. Do you feel the same? Oh, Mr. Tsutsumi. Please call I me received... Tsutsutsu. <laughs> no, I received a message from Paranormal Affairs earlier. Yeah. It wasn't from Nakagoshi, but I had someone look into something for me. So even the desk jockey's lend the hand. Brings a tear to your eye. <laughs> so what'd they say? Right. About the Anmyoji woman who was in... Who was in Edo at the time of the Hanjo incident. She was a person of great beauty and discerning taste, but also shamelessly did whatever she wanted. Seemed to match the person seen in the resentful memory for the foot-washing mansion. Huh. So she must be the one who fought with Simon of the Right. You mean Simon? <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. And they found that her name was Ashino. This is your specialty. Ashino, huh? What else? Um, that's all. That's not much help? Oh, but... Apparently she was quite the powerful Amyoji. And she died bearing a similarly powerful resentment. 
It's possible that she became a vengeful spirit with a connection to the Seven Mysteries. The vengeful spirit? If any descendants of Ashino or people otherwise closely aligned with her live today, there's a possibility that spirit awakened and possessed them. Yeah, you mentioned before that spirits can possess people who are closely in sync with them. Y yes, Yako, that happened to you. <laughs> Though this of course doesn't mean the spirit houses her complete personality. Her resentment and her spirit power, those are the parts of her that would have the strongest influence. Sensei man's descendants are what is that? Did I get it right that time? No. Fuck, are still around in the <laughs> present. It wouldn't be surprising if Ashino's were to. They might just be des desk jockeys. I don't know why I almost said deck. Desk <laughs> jockeys. That's, that's like a DJ. But <laughs> they wouldn't give us this info if it was only speculation. You going to the club, boss? No. <laughs> they must have found some amount of evidence looking at abnormal phenomena or things like that. So I don't think there was a bad memory attached to that response. <laughs> oh, the Feast of Shadows. There it is, our abnormal phenomenon. Mia, what do you mean? The person who initiated the curse this time, we've been calling the Mastermind. They might be possessed by the vengeful spirit of the Anmyoji named Ashino, the enemy of Seimon. Do we have any idea who they could be, or where to find them? Like, if you looked at them, Mio, would you be able to tell right away? Uh... It's like how I didn't realize that Michio had used with your consciousness, Yako. Common spirits will leak spirit energy left and right, so I can notice them just by looking carefully. When spirits of a higher caliber fuse with someone's consciousness, detecting them isn't so simple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I... Damn. <laughs> What a union. I did not read that. I said it the same <laughs> just, time oh. that it popped. <laughs> I have fused. Oh you my god. Are, you're Yako Kenny. That was terrifying. It's just like with <laughs> Athena. Well, all right. I'm sorry. My skills still need a lot of work, and I don't have anything else to offer. Mia, that's not true at all. You're fine. We'll make this work somehow or other. Thanks. Also, good, something that I realized. Remember what uh, uh, Nejima's uh, wife's name was? Ah, oh, fuck. Shino. Hmm. Mm, ah, Shino. Maybe, Shino. Maybe, maybe a Shino somewhere. A you don't talk anymore? A singular Shino. <laughs> Basically, I believe the mastermind behind everything is a woman possessed by the vengeful spirit of the Anmyoji Ashino. I see. Is this mastermind also the one who killed Hajime trying to get the record of Fates Yin scroll? Yes, I think that's very likely. So that's how it is, huh? Then I want you to catch them no matter what. Perfect. How you doing, Mai? Maya rushed to Hitomi's place and back for us. She's been trying to appear calm, but I'm sure she must still be in shock. Probably. What's up? Oh, Mayu, did you meet with Hitomi? Yeah, I met her at the spot I was told. She was acting tough, but I think the incident with Hajime has her really shaken up. I briefly explained her situation and had her give Hajime's talisman to me. Here, this is what you're looking for, right? Perfect. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Yes, I believe that's it. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Tsutsumi, about this. Tsutsutsu, yes, right. <laughs> you should hold on to it, Mio. Not like when... Not like we you could use it as it is. Boss, are you having an existential crisis? It's not Trying your name. Trying to figure out what we'll need to do once we get both halves together. Understood. I'll see what I can do. And yes, Ariel, I'm fine. Um... <laughs> Call me the big suit to you. Okay, yeah, he's <laughs> lost it, everyone. Do you know who the other talisman is? Um, yes. Probably. This is Hajime's last job. Finish it for him, okay? We will! Perfect. Dead to him! I bet he's making jokes and stuff at a time like this because he doesn't want to stress us out. <laughs> just a little bit. I wonder if he's able to stay so calm because of experience or if he's just that kind of person. Inside of his head you just hear, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! We'll talk to June before talking to Tutsu. Yeah. Detective Ariel was nice enough to get us something to drink earlier. Seeing a detective take time for little things like that has put my mind at ease a little. Let's talk. Come to think of it, did old man Ashi Ashimiya end up getting away? Ugh, so word's already out, huh? He was cornered, but managed to take a hostage and escape, is what I heard on the radio. Damn, that travels fast. What happened after that? So, it's all the reporting. 
Here's what really happened. He was killed? And the hostage with Susumi's daughter, whose whereabouts are still unknown? Yep, his daughter showing up was a huge surprise. Even Boss couldn't believe it. Damn it! The hell do you expect? No one could have seen that coming. So, there's already an emergency search underway for her as a key witness and suspect. I'll be rejoining the search for her after we're done here. Key witness and suspect? But wasn't she a hostage? Could she have killed Nejima and fled the scene? Well, it was just a possibility. It's a theory. <laughs> a game theory. No. <laughs> For talking fuck? possibilities, might as well tell them everything. It's very likely that Nijima was killed by a cursed stone. There we go! <laughs> what? By a curse bearer? Oh, it's already evening, so the effect of the Feast of Shadows would be starting to return. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I thought it had to be like night. likely that a curse was used to kill him. Boss, you're repeating yourself. Try to calm down for a sec. But that would mean... The inspector's daughter is probably a curse bearer, right? Huh. Did you say something? Maybe I'm losing my hearing in my old age. Boss, you can hear just fine. Don't play the old man card. Every time you don't want to get out of something. Every time you want to. You just... You're in denial. Okay? <laughs> we even talked about how she might have the Taiko Suguru Fest case. Shut your fucking trap if you want sushi. Did we? <sighs> My memory is a little hazy. Wow, you're in the river Egypt. Okay, you've got a soft spot for your daughter, don't you, Inspector? Uh, Now's not the time to have a soft it just, spot. It's a little too close to home now. But either way, we have to find her as soon as possible. That's why we'll be joining the search as soon as we're done here. One more thing. There's a very good chance that his daughter has Michio Shiraishi's talisman. All the more reason for you to get back to that search. Best of luck. What the hell has she gotten herself into? There's something that I want to check before we talk to him. I just want to go Bells. over... Uh... Rip Shogo. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You didn't... You you got to li live as, as, as long as potentially could. Um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. He likes sweet stuff. I forgot. He does. Um... That's why he was all excited. I'm trying to remember if there's a discussion at any point if um if Ayame is like his actual daughter or like because I thought there was something about finding a child at some point. Huh? Because the reason why I want to put that forward there is I'm trying to connect old information that we recorded like fucking God knows how long ago. Uh-huh. I think that Ayame Tono is the reincarnation of the woman that um, Makoto was trying to bring back. Makoto? The, our, our big bad guy. Oh, Nejima. And he's now changed. But uh, yeah, Nejima. You mean his wife? No, 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 no. Because he was trying to, well, in a way, yes, because he was trying to bring his wife back. But it was reincarnation instead. Uh -huh. It was brought back as a baby. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Ayame is that baby. What? I believe that Ayame is the reincarnation of Nejima Funchika's wife. Uh, no. That's my thought because I swear I remember something about... That's what happened. It was forever ago. It was early on when um, fucking Ariel was questioning... Uh, oh my god, I don't want to get his name wrong. I've been saying Tsutsutu for so long. Tetsuo. Yeah. That, um... Like, he talked about going to the scene there, and they found a baby. And Aria asked, what did you do with the child? And I remember Tetsuo didn't respond. He, like, did the dots and said, let's not worry about that. It was, like, he left it... Left him on red. Hmm. So I think that Ayame was simply, like kind of an adopted daughter hmm. from the situation that he took in as a baby and raised as his own. But I believe that Ayame is the reincarnation of um, Nejima's wife. And that'd be especially why in his whole conversation on the bridge said, I've been waiting for you for so long because he has been waiting for 20 fucking years. Hmm. Anyways, that's my theory out there. Let's talk, me. <laughs> I heard you had a curse stone too. Oh, that's me. That's you, yeah. Yeah, I should give it to you then, right? 
Listen, you really are a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'll gladly hand it over to you before it starts to give me any crazy ideas. Good idea. So this is the beckoning light, huh? All right, safe and sound with me. So we won't be able to bring him back. Don't worry about it. You know, we're always prepared for the worst anyways. No. What the? What's wrong? Damn. Jesus. Trigger for the beckoning light's curses. Some serious shit. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I said it'd give me weird ideas. See what I mean now? How's it work? I'll leave you a note you can read later. We have more important things to worry about now. Right. Mr. Tsutsumi, does that make it five curse stones that you've gathered now? I'm fucking all powerful right now. You're like but getting gym badges. <laughs> should be. I want to get the other four under wraps as soon as we can. Let's see. I have no idea about the Whispering Canal. That still is a kind of at the missing and completely out of the picture right yeah. now. Someone made off with the one-sided reed which Nejima had. I wonder who. Yeah, hmm. damn shame. After that, you said earlier that the Taiko Tsuguru might be with your daughter, Inspector? Well, let's set that one aside for now. So we can assume that cursed bears are still prowling around out there with, the, with those ones. Hmm. What a headache. Hope we can find them soon. Now, is that everything we need to chat about? If you don't need anything else, we'll be going back to the search. Um, there actually is one thing. Jackie! <laughs> one more thing. Oh, what's that? <laughs> um, just completely hypothetically. Hypothetically, what if the inspector's daughter was the mastermind? I mean, she's a woman. Seems like she was after the talismans. Hmm. So I don't really understand what you mean. Boss, come on! We've got to look at the facts! Oh, that would mean Inspector Tsutsumi would also have to be one of Ishino's descendants. Oh, right! You're just a normal person, right, Inspector? Right... Unless that's why you're so resistant to the paranormal. Look at my fucking stink face. <laughs> Don't believe I've ever heard anything about being related to Saman Miyoji. Oh. But... Well... If you put it like that... Her being the mastermind, it's possible. Really? Uh, I say possible, but I mean unlikely, is what I want to think. Damn it, I don't even want to imagine it. Boss, if we're going to consider it, we have to do it properly. No dragging your heels about it. No, it's not that. There's something I never told her. Never wanted to tell her. The truth is, she's not my real daughter. Yeah, stop Let's stop fucking go, Kevin! Oh my god! The audience will appreciate. They'll understand the reason why that <sighs> explosion is there. The Good. truth is, she's not my real daughter. What? Twenty years ago, once well, a long story, we would took her when she was just a baby. Do you know anything about her birth parents? You could say I do, I guess, but really, I don't know anything. What's that supposed to mean? I don't get it. Nerio, you heard what I said, didn't you? Just now? About 20 years ago? 2 plus 2? Two, or no. 2 plus 0? Boss, that can't be! Nejima's... That's right. When we arrested Fumichika Nejima, there was a baby at his house on the brink of death. That was... My daughter, Ayame Tatsumi. She goes by Ayame Tono now. But what?! Someone had to take care of her. The baby holds no blame for the circumstances she came from. But, but, boss, according to Nejima, that baby... I fucking know. It's <laughs> his former lover reincarnated using black magic. What? <laughs> Personally, I think that story is bullshit. According to Nejima... Fill that all in. My, my goodness. It's hard to believe from Nejima's behavior, but... Could it really be true? I've got a few doubts. We have to question whether the Sheena woman ever really existed in the first place. There are no records of her and nobody was found. Her name never came up once during the investigation. Even if this woman really existed, I'm skeptical that someone could be reincarnated as a baby through black magic. I agree. No matter how you look at it, still with that effect is hard to believe. Even the supernatural has rules that must be followed. Seems more likely he's deluded himself, not wanting to recognize that a spell he risked his life on failed to work. That's my thinking too. The more 
more natural conclusions that the baby in his and Shino's and that she died in childbirth. As long as we don't know Shino's origins, we have to consider the possibility that she could be a descendant of a Shino. Huh, if nothing else, their names are pretty similar. Okay, assuming all of that is true for a moment, Ayame getting taken away by Nejima and then killing him, that would mean that she killed her own father. Calm down, this is all still conjecture. But now that Nejima is dead, we have no means to investigate. So regardless of everything, there's only one thing that matters. She's my daughter. As her parent, I'm responsible for her. Nothing can change that. I understand. All right, we should get back to the search. We'll find her and clear all of this up. Yes, sir. Talisman, you young ladies are looking for us something to do with this as well. I'd appreciate it if you could help us find it. So if anything happens, please call the police. We will. I'm waiting by Hitomi, so I'm going to head to where she is. I'm waiting to hear some good news from you all. Boy. Those music kits were at, like, the perfect <clears throat> times. <laughs> they were. Let's fucking go! I'm so good at what I do, man. Proud of you. I'm going to throw a second one out there. Are you ready for this? I'm going to throw a oh, fucking no. curveball in left field because I'm on a fucking high right now. <sighs> all right. The big mystery of this so-called Shino. Don't know where she is. Assume dead in childbirth. I don't think so. I think there's some black magic stuff going on here. And I'm going to go through here because I don't fucking know the name of anyone involved in anything anymore. But I'm sure if I looked for an unfamiliar name, I would find what I'm looking for. But what? My what are you suspect doing? is going to be what? right here. Huh? I bet you that this old lady, lady the wit because she's known as the Witch of Ihaku. So I bet Nejima and all of his study of black magic was trying to find a powerful woman and be like, listen, I need this thing. Stat. And she was like, all right, perfect. Here you go. Boom. Shino? His wife? What? Listen, I didn't do perfectly. She's on that dead. One, but what are you? Unless about. she's not dead. I Evan, don't know. I don't know. That's an old woman. <laughs> it's time for last resort. You just said some nonsensical thing. That's what I'm good at. Anyways, Highway and Rector rescue Maya Chizawa and interrogate her along with Takami Yumioka. They yet they yet they fail to gain any particularly useful information about the curse bears. Decide to return to Haraway's home when I'm sure Haraway's on her <laughs> last resort like she did say she has one final plan I'm gonna fucking enact yeah. she is she wants her son back bad yep. let's see how fucking bad cause it's 5pm oh, and apparently the stones are fucking kicking back in so yeah apparently it's late enough so that's not good back to the reception room reporter <laughs> we've received an update on the hostage situation the 56 year old male suspect who announced his intent to commit mass murder in Sumida City today had taken a woman hostage and gone on the run, but was found by the police in a park in Sumida after 4 p.m. and confirmed dead. He was very dead. The weapon the suspect was said to possess was nowhere to be found on site, and its whereabouts are currently unknown. Mm. Furthermore, the female hostage was not present, and the search for her continues. Mm, boy. Interesting. <laughs> if it's being reported on the news, then that lends credence to a story. <sighs> it's eerily silent. It is very quiet. <laughs> He was quite shaken just moments ago, but he seems better now. I think it'd be harder for him to keep his cool. I am boiling on the inside, worried about <laughs> you as I stare you in the face. Please don't commit mass murder. Anyway, I should ask about her side of the story. Oh, well, we... Oh, okay, do I look back? Oh, oh my, my god, god! I didn't know she was there. She... <laughs> I was going to turn to the TV... And there's fucking Ayami staring us in the fucking Her side soul. of the story. Got it. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, we just heard a news program about you. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I was like, what is he talking about? Uh, same. I wonder what her intentions are. How was she able to act like nothing happened? Is this just how girls are these days? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's think quick instead <sighs> of think thong. Well, then, how should I proceed? Is this what it's like to be rushing to one's doom? Well, let's talk. Be careful of your words. You might be a curse bear. 
Well, it's just like I said, right? If you're hostage mentioned on the news just now, that must have been you. Which means you killed Nejima with your own curse stone. <laughs> well, you said you'd give me refuge, so I came to take you up on that offer. That's not what I meant. I meant before <laughs> killing anyone. What are you <sighs> planning? Hmm? Me? Well, obviously, I'm on my last resort. On oh, to my fuck. last resort. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, yeah, she did mention that she had a last resort, too, uh -huh. which is why uh, Haraway said a similar thing. <laughs> you want to talk about that? A little you know, I want to see. Do yeah. you have any update on that one? <laughs> oh, okay. No. Let's let's get more from this, and then we'll <laughs> talk later. You a curse bear? So you're a curse bear with a curse stone too, right? <laughs> Are you surprised? Yes, I have a curse stone of my own. It's a Taiko Suzuru. Why go after other people's curse stones? Um, because killing people is bad, you know. Don't you think so too? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Uh, yeah, let's go. I mean, it's a lie. It's a bold-faced lie, but... <laughs> You're right. It's wrong to kill people for the sake of resurrection. Right? And it's not even for... It's not even one for one, so it's hardly a fair exchange. Either way, that's why I wanted to only use soul dregs gathered by others. But that didn't work out in the end. No one had the backbone to use their curse. The world's gone soft. Oh my god. With no one mercilessly using their curse in pursuit of their own goals, I had to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> I heard Namagaki is a young man you were with. He used this curse stone too. Victor's like, holy. Huh? How do you know that? Eh, creepy much? Are you stalking me? I'm an investigator, ma'am, but <laughs> I may have heard it from a detective I know. Oh, there it is. Cops. Bet you know a bunch. I know your type. People who boast just because they know a couple of cops. But the police is filled with nothing but scum. My, you seem to hold a grudge against the force. Their face. Speaking of, this guy's really creeping me out. What's the deal with him anyway? You can explain? Even the way he moves is all weird and exaggerated. I'm right here, you know, but... <laughs> right, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... Um, no. No, thank you. Holy fucking shit. All right. I... Get the fuck out of it. I'm trying to... <laughs> My God. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Her true colors have shown. <laughs> <laughs> My God. She fucking... Uh, yeah, there's... She was not like this the first time that we were, uh... And no, not at all. In this is the first she's shown anything like this. Let me introduce myself. It's hard to talk as strangers. Is it? Are you and you're okay with telling me who you are? No, I won't stop you. Do as you please. The fuck? <laughs> well, I'm Haruwe Shigima, and this is my house. My father and husband are both with the police. Let me just go. I, I It's been a while since... Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong thing. I hope that names aren't what she needs, and this is going to fucking... Mm. Bite me in the ass at that one. Uh, it's like of Suguru, because that's the, uh, yeah, stay at home state meter high tower, like for fires. Only does any firefighters allowed to use a large drum that resides atop the tower. Towers of wooden blocks to sound the fire alarm. For some reason, this residence was permitted to use drums. The residence in the spectrum led to much speculation. It's just the drum up top that was a signal fires. I don't know much to go off of on that one. What if he was beaten to death with giant drumsticks? Just saying. Yeah, but then the question, the, well, the question is like, what's the sign or trigger that's going to show what she yeah. can do to make it an act? <sighs> is that so? Then you know that cops are just the worst people, right? Well, there are certainly many who are cold, especially with their own family. In a police family, one is always expected to just grin and bear it no matter what happens. God, I know, right? What a relief! You understand! I think we might get along! Oh, well, I'm glad then. <laughs> and I'm Richter Kai. Private Eye. Investigator, that's short for. <laughs> uh, did I ask? But, hmm, you're an investigator? So your job is to sneak around and follow people to tr pry into their secrets, right? Oh, is that why you keep probing all these questions? Ew. Well, your <laughs> fucking 19 year old self for showing, is it not? <laughs> I, I guess there's not much I can do to change that terrible impression you've got of me. God, she's a brat. Wait, hey, lady, why are you working with this dude? She's like legitimately setting me off with, <laughs> with every fucking line she says to him. I'm like, oh my god. It's so fun to <laughs> voice act. I, I can imagine, but it's just the fact of the writing effect. It's like, oh my god. Every word, every line you say <laughs> makes you fucking boil. I asked him to look into something for me. Really? It, it's just that he keeps looking this way. 
<laughs> not dropping my eyes from you, woman. <laughs> All right. More introductions? We're going to go more on the curse bear thing? Well, I mean, I'm trying to get the introduction part to see if that will not. Didn't your father a police officer as well? That man is not my father. Not in name or deed. Well, she knows. Sounds like there's some bad blood there. He already legally cut all ties. He even had the nerve to act all high and mighty today and still refused to help me. You better today? Yes, today. Remember that Chief Sitsumi who was chasing Nejima? Well, that's him. My dad. What? <laughs> Your daughter! <laughs> Former daughter. I've cut ties. He's never acted like a father, so he doesn't deserve the title. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I heard something about that Nejima guy. Apparently he wanted to get revenge on Chief Inspector Tsutsumi for his arrest by going after his daughter. Wait, really? And I heard the police had been searching nonstop to take you into protective custody. This explains why the police were stalking out your place, too. Staking out. Man, how could I have known that? They came in such intimidating numbers. Wait, huh? Hold on a minute. Doesn't that mean that Nejima was specifically after my life today? That sounds about right. It's a good thing you got out unscathed, or rather managed to turn the tables on him. Oh, that means, legally speaking, it was self-defense. But that surely was quite frightening to think it had to go through this just for being related to a cop. It's a disgrace. <laughs> well, if only that was the truth. Oh, boy. It truly is to cause their own child such trouble. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. You're not the one that needs to apologize, lady. Uh, I'm sorry. Just reminded me of what happened to my son. Your son? What happened? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> my child was also kidnapped and murdered in order to enact revenge against the police, you see. What? How awful! That's terrible! I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, now that you say it, I do remember hearing about an incident like that last year. That must have been your son, huh? My condolences. <laughs> Bonding, yay. <laughs> Now that I think about it, although we've met a few times, I didn't even know your name. I guess we're more like acquaintances now. Perfect. Well, now that we're acquaintances, you're <laughs> Curse Bear. So, what were we talking about again? Oh, right, Yutaro Nambigaki. He's no good, honestly. He was such a wuss. I had to spur him on so many times for him to even use his curse, and, he even, and even then he was pissing his pants. And just when I take my eyes off him, he hands over his curse stone to someone. Honestly, he's a disappointment. So that's what happened. Which is why I figured I had to do it myself if I wanted it done right, you know? That's what my last resort is. Collecting soul dregs on my own. Well. <laughs> pleasant. Damn. You used a curse stone? So when you were taken hostage by Nejima, you used the curse stone in the garden and swiftly made your getaway? Well, yeah. I didn't really have time to think on it. At the time, I only thought of how to get out of there. Then... What about now? Could you use it again? Your curse stone? Well, the curse stone doesn't respond during the day, but... It's evening now! So I tried using the curse stone just now and... Yep! Seems I activated it. What? What are you using now? It might still be a little weak. I guess it's not supposed to be used repeatedly. But I think I could get it to work once more. Oh. That's so. Sure is, so I'll give you a final warning. It's already started, so be careful, hmm? It's started? What started? The curse, of course. All that's left is for the conditions to be fulfilled. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, this little heathen. <laughs> oh, time to think on that one. Richter, Richter, <clears throat> I haven't even considered it. Would it be possible to use my stone as well now? If it's already active, does that mean we'll die the second we trip her conditions? Her proclamation meant she thinks I am a curse bearer. Did she find out? Or is this a trick to get me to admit it? Very well, because hey, I don't buddy. think... She didn't talk to her dad, so she wouldn't get any of that. That's an old stick. Yeah, I don't have to worry about to, that. Talk to Richter. Look at Richter. <laughs> hey, buddy. I want to remember, because hmm. I think this is the ones that requires a, a whole thing about fire. If I remember right, because uh, fucking hell. Which they had they have to have something right? that Maybe can that start a fire on them, like a lighter or whatever. No, that's not the. Which fucking one do we have again? Oh my god, I'm trying. <laughs> it's just um. No, that's not it. 
Fuck. It's all so complicated now. <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one it is that we have and what the what the thing is that does the thing of the thing. All right, I'm just going <laughs> to What do you think, buddy? Come on, man. <laughs> using a curse to, if if using a curse, what well, we're talking to curse bear. So it's you who's in the line of fire. <laughs> that means you better save. <laughs> All right. Uh, that means you better save. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, Perfect. All right. Hey. Oh my God. She activated her curse. The curse stones can be used already. And let my guard down. I didn't think it could be used this early in the evening. Neither did I. Ma'am, please calm down. Look at that face. What should I do? Should I keep her talking? Oh my wow. god. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a light on you? Even though that comes out of nowhere. <laughs> oh boy, there's a lot of Because if she if she uh, does, then we can use ours on her. You have a light on you? I'm just gonna go for it. No, instead of talking about that, how about we talk about why you're so shaken? As I thought, you have a curse stone too. You're a curse bearer, aren't you, lady? Oh my God, she's fucking psychotic. Do we <laughs> just do we just go straight up and? <sighs> no, he has it. Uh oh. Ah, there we oh, go. Oh, it triggers the lies. Well, <laughs> we're dead. Huh? Oh, oh boy, that's pleasant. Ma'am, ma'am. Damn, did she fulfill the conditions? She sure did. Okay, it's time for a beatdown. Jeez, why did you try to hide it now of all times? I wouldn't have come if I were you if you weren't a curse bearer. I wouldn't come for you if you weren't a curse bearer. Uh, yeah, screaming. I can't do that. <laughs> Whoop, whoops. Ah, stop! Hmm, too bad. She's already dead. This is horrific. I'll be taking her curse stone. Whoa. Huh. All the haunting clappers needed was a source of fire? That was a close one. Oh? Now then. Interesting. What will you do, Mr. Investigator? Nah. You're not a curse bearer, so I don't have any reason to kill you. But I won't show you mercy if you're going to try and capture me. So what'll it be? I still don't know how to make curses work. It's too easy to make a move. Um, your employer is already dead anyway, so there's no reason for you to go out of your way to arrest me, right? I can still do my duty as a citizen reporter, you know? Oh, what a surprise! This is when you decide to suddenly choose the side of righteousness? She was after the same thing, you know. There's no clean hands when it comes to soul dregs. Well, looks like you won't have anything to say about that. I'll be taking my leave then. Bye-bye! Well... Oops. God. <laughs> but you know what? With that trial run. Oh, did we get an ending from that? Oh, yeah. Upon killing Haroe Shigima, a fellow curse bearer, Ayame Tono obtained more than enough soul dregs for the rite of resurrection. Did you say Shigima? <laughs> Shigima. <laughs> However, it turned out that resurrecting someone who died long who died a long time ago acquired an even larger amount. To fulfill her heart's deepest desires, she'd need to harvest more. Oh, God. So... She waited for the sun to set for when the Feast of Shadows effects were at its peak. And she used the one-sided reed curse stone she had stolen from Fumichi Kanejima. Oh boy. With it, she proceeded to kill all those whose personal information she knew, starting with those who mattered least to her. How about the one-sided reed? Kills by dismemberment, one who face, yeah. whose face, address, name, eye location are all known by the curse bear. Many of them are random men, gullible and disposable, drawn in by the allure of a female university student. Jeez. One noteworthy victim among them was Tetsuo Tutsumi, who, being a curse bearer himself, was promptly targeted for his soul drags. Yeah. Tutsumi's death threw the investigation efforts in a disarray, allowing Ayami to evade capture. Afterwards, she acquired various address registers and phone books and systematically killed the people listed in them. Oh my god! <laughs> Unsuspecting victims could be safe at home, only to suddenly have their limbs severed. The strange death shook society to its core. Jesus Christ. God damn. That girl is fucked up. She's fucked up. But you know what? In failure, we learned success. Uh, sure, yeah. Because, I mean, we did find out two very important oh things. Oh my God, she's laughing. She is laughing. She's fucking psychotic. Uh -huh. But we learned two things. 
Number one, we know the trigger is lying. Uh-huh. That's what sets off hers, which is ironically... Close to... Wait, no, that is... Wait. No. That's too close. Hold the fucking phone. What? I mean, the trigger for hers right now is if someone lies, you can set off the stone. Mm -hmm. But all things must come to an end, and so in time, the killing stopped. Sometime after the killings, a modern-day genius female... Uh, Ukiyoe artist burst onto the Ukiyoe artist burst onto the art scene. She introduced herself as the mysterious mad paintress, <laughs> and her fame grew quickly as she presented one incredible work after another. Praised as the modern reincarnation of, I'm not even yeah. gonna butcher that. She quickly made her own mark on history. So she what resurrected him and then stole his art. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they resurrected him. And, well, no, because that's it was reincarnation, and that was his reincarnation was as a woman this time around. Mm. But hmm, what's well, an interesting thing going back? There's that the second fact we learned is that she also does seem to have a lighting a, a lighter source on her mm -hmm. somewhere, so we can use that to our advantage potentially now. But yeah, as we go into the is because we're going to go in, back into this in the next part. That is. Way too similar to the Evergreen Beach to what Tetsuo's original one was. Because that wasn't wasn't way that Tetsuo's? too similar. Or no, um, she we she has a great yeah. Hold on, His we can look the... to see of the triggers that we have here. Um, wouldn't be the Whispering Canal because that's that whole thing. I think it was. The Evergreen um, here's Beach. music for thirty seconds. That's not it. And then uh. It, it, that wouldn't be that. The haunting clappers. That's the that's the yeah, one. That, oh, no, that's, that's the one that, we have. Yeah, that's the one that she has. The Evergreen Beach is one that. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't work the same way, but boy, is that ironically fucking the same, dude. Hmm. Unless there's something else that we didn't actually get right on that, but that is eerily similar, apparently. So. That yep. one's an old man, too. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're going to keep that in mind. And we're going to roll in and try and fucking redo that <sighs> uh, next time. At least she didn't kill Richter. Maybe. No, because so, he, like, because he's smart enough to be like, I'm not going to fuck. I'm not going to fuck with this shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to back away. I don't know how to fix this. So he got <laughs> to walk away. I believe. <laughs> yeah, I'm, because, since it wasn't stated, I'm going to hope the area is safe, too. You know, I'm just going to hope, hope, hope with all my heart. That's, yep. Hope she didn't find him in the phone book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.